Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back racing at Watkins Glen in Group 3 on this week's current daily race B. So we're on the American server and we're about to witness some rather chaotic driving. You might mistake this for Forza over Gran Turismo. It gets quite chaotic at some time, but it was good fun. So yeah, let's get into this racing and let's see what's going down on the US server. So while I'm starting from the back grid, now this week's race was four laps. And I think this might have been a contributing factor to some of the quite chaotic driving that you're about to witness because four laps, people get a bit aggressive, people want to make up positions. Maybe PD could have made this six laps and it would have been a little bit cleaner and probably a better race overall. So yeah, four laps might have been the contributing factor to some of what you're about to see. So we get a decent start here, making up one position on our first race here on the American server on Daily Race B. And we're getting a nice run on the Genesis. Now the, the Vision has a really good top end in Slipstream and you can see that's gonna give us the ability to go for a move up the inside into the bus stop, breaking late, up the inside, nice move done there. Now we look up ahead and we can see the orange Mercedes running a little bit wide there. Now P11 in front of us just does not care that he's even there. He just clean swipes him off the track. No attempt to try and lift to try and you know stop the underseer. Just watch this straight into him just doesn't even hesitate it's just clean swiped off the track a little bit naughty that in my personal opinion but we gained the position obviously because the car in front took that car out so we're up one more position there up into p11 now we're going to go into this next round corner we can see a little bit of um, cars going side by side a little bit of contact in front of us up there you can see there's a bit of chaos developing maybe as one car has lost control he's into the barrier and that is another free position for us so up to p10 now from the back of the grid now we're going to go for a little move up the inside now into this right hand corner try and break as late as we can slow the car down with that downshift and then try and hold this outside line now which will now become the inside line for this next corner which we just about managed to do keeping that inside line and putting ourselves up into p9 so a nice little move there putting ourselves up into p9 and now we've got to chase this next group of cars now as we come through here keep your eye on that yellow bmw He's gone a little bit wide there, he's probably picked up a little bit of dirty tyres and then as he hits the kerb on the right hand side now you're going to see his car is out of control into the barrier and that is another free position for us. So now we've got an opportunity to have a little look at P7. Can we go for a move here? It's a bit too far back so I decide yeah we're not going to send it there, we're a bit too far back. However the Mercedes behind me does not care, he's just going to push all his way all the way through the car that just pushed the other car off before as well on the bus stop. He does it to us and unfortunately you would think with being pushed off the track that your track limit penalty wouldn't happen but unfortunately we still pick up half a second penalty even though we were pushed wide so yeah not the best penalty system there but we're still in p9 and if we can try and get a bit of a gap to the car behind we shouldn't lose the position but we've got a bit of chaotic driving in front of us i think there was a bit of contact between the mercedes and the genesis there going through the bus stop so we're going to have a little look down the right hand side now now this is going to be a risky move but we can't go to the left because they're on our left now we try and break as late as we can unfortunately i think genesis hits us there and pushes off pushes us off on the track and into the grass and then there's more chaos developing in front of us absolute mayhem this is forza like what is going on here at the moment this is like you could mistake this for forza very easily it is that crazy the driving that we're witnessing but yeah, it maybe is the four laps that's contributing to this factor, but still not the best driving we've ever seen. We're all the way back down to P12 now. So the, the Peugeot is going to go back ahead of us there. And yeah, shame because we picked up quite a few positions on that opening lap here and went all the way back down to P12 now. But we're not going to give up. We're going to see if we can capitalize on some more chaos because there's bound to be a few more spins and a few more incidents as the Peugeot proves us 100% correct there by losing control and going into the barrier i think so that's one more position for us up to p11 now we're going to fast forward the action here as we just chasing down these cars and then we're going to rejoin it at the end of the straight before the bus stop and we've got a little bit of chaos developing as we see cars blocking and cars obviously wanting to overtake now we're going to hang back here and we can see as we come through here they managed to get through although it looks like there was a bit of a pinball effect from the supra to the genesis there pinballed backwards with a bit of contact and we've picked up a little bit of damage unfortunately but luckily no penalty and the car in front obviously didn't get affected as well so a bit lucky there but yeah pinball physics taking effect as usual in this game and now with the brazilian driver up ahead it's got a penalty 
but I think we might be a little bit too far back to really get that position from him. So as we come through here, we can see he's going to take that penalty and we're probably a little bit too far back with that damage we've got, not being able to push 100%. And we've obviously got a little bit of understeer there from the damage and that is going to be a penalty because running wide on that corner is pretty much an instant half a second penalty. So now into the right hand corner, they're going to go side by side in front of us. The Supra goes up the inside for the Porsche and now the Porsche is going to have a little look back and go for that position. Is he actually going to send that? I think the Supra saw it coming and they're going to go side by side. Good awareness from the Super Drive. They actually saw that lunge coming in and got out of the way. But they're going to try and carry that move on all the way through this corner. Side by side. Good racing so far. And then again into the final corner. Trying to go side by side. And they actually make that work pretty nice. Some pretty decent driving between these two there. So not bad at all. So we're going to have a look. Can we go for a move into this corner? And we actually go for a, a bit of a cheeky move here. So all the way up the inside to both of them. They're both napping and we take two positions in one corner. So yeah, two for the price of one there. And now we're going to push on and see if we can catch back up to P8. So we've obviously got that penalty. So I need to get a bit of a gap between myself and the car behind, which we managed to do. You can see 1.5 seconds and we're going to take this penalty on the zone. We've got another car there just chilling in the barrier with a 1.5, obviously spawn and it's in the wall. So another free position gained and up into P8 on this final lap. So yeah a pretty interesting race not much more now we can do coming up to the finishing line and yeah chaos in that first attempt of doing this daily beef from the back of the grid absolute chaos but it was fun at the same time so we're going to go again again from the back of the grid and we're going to see if we can maybe get a little bit further up the field and see if we can have a slightly cleaner race this time that was our first attempt let's see if the second attempt is any cleaner is it going to be a better race let's find out so straight away we've got a car that looks like it's just backing out and thinking i'm not dealing with the chaos and going for a bit of a cleaner run maybe and trying to improve his SR. And P13 there doesn't get the best exit in the Genesis. That again is going to give me the run in the Mazda and that is a position we gain and up into P13. Now we've got the driver in the Mercedes that was causing a little bit of chaos in front of us on that previous race. So hopefully this race is going to calm down a little bit and drive a little bit more sensible. So going into the bus stop chicane we're going to see through here they've got the yellow bmw lost control in the previous race as well actually picks up a one second one second penalty there for the corner cut on the bus stop and this is looking a little bit tasty in front of us so we get a run on the mercedes driver can we go right around the outside here nice move done there up into p12 and we've got these cards in front of us that looks like it's going to develop into something here so into this right hand corner very often you get cars side by side through here and the super goes in a little bit too hot there contact with p10 then the porsche loses control and then we've got nowhere to go and all our momentum there and the position gained say goodbye to them and we're back down to p13 but can we manage to get back past p12 here on the outside is it possible we're going to break as late as possible down to second gear there's more chaos in front of us there as well i don't know what's happened there again the super looks like it's involved we're going to cut back to that in a bit but let's stick with this action we'll watch the replay to that in a moment and stay with this action as we're going through the final two corners as it looks pretty tasty up here could be some more incidents as again we're gonna have a little look on this corner can we go for move not really much we can do here so we're just going to keep on the racing line and just back out nice and early and see how this goes the genesis goes for a move then i don't think the bmw is very happy he just swipes him off and yeah two free positions for us but we're going to take a look at that in a minute that was pretty nasty some fours are like driving again so we watch it here the super goes in too deep there knocks into the side of that car starts off that chain of events that happened for me where we got stuck behind them but then he goes for this move he picks up the slipstream from the mazda now i'm not sure if he just breaks too late here and panics because he goes to the right cuts off the mazda that car causes him to spin into the other car and yeah just chaotic driving i think it was a bit clumsy i don't think it was i don't think that was 100 percent like a dirty move i think he just broke too late and panicked but now this is 100% nasty driving. I don't know if there's previous between these two. It looks like he maybe got annoyed at that attempt of an overtake, but it was kind of on. And he just clean swipes him straight into the pit wall. I don't think he's going to be very happy with that one. But yeah, good judgment to do it. I mean, fair play. He got it done pretty nicely, that move. But um, yeah, we don't want to see that in Gran Turismo. That is Forza-like behavior. And yeah, less of that and more clean racing, please. So again we look up ahead and there's more chaos again between the mercedes from the previous race and a porsche this time and it's just kicking off look at this what is going on i don't know what was happening on the american service on this day that we were on but everyone was driving so so angry 
absolute chaotic driving that we're witnessing. Again, we'll have a little look at that and see what went down there. And again, I'm not sure if there was previous between these two from other races, but the Porsche just clean goes for the Mercedes driver, tries to swipe him, then hits the back of him, and then's out of control. They're both out of control. Then he goes from again here, and yeah, he's ended up ruining his own race actually because he's now stuck on the grass and he's going to spin round and he's all the way down to P15. So a little bit chaotic. We're up to P8 though, and now we're going to catch up to these cars in front maybe let's see how long it takes to catch up as we skip a little bit further on in the race to the final corner and as we're coming through here we've got a driver just having some fun with himself in the pit lane i'm not sure what's going on there but yeah he looks like he's spun and he's stuck stuck in the middle austin powers like right in the middle of that pit lane so now we're up to p7 and we're chasing down these two cars in front of us at the end of lap three. Can we go for a move here? Now the Mazda goes in a little bit deep here, gives the car in front a little bit of a nudge. That's gonna give me the benefit of being able to go up the inside now as he hits that curb. And we put ourselves up into P6, coming into these final few corners. And maybe a P5 is possible after all the chaos in this race, we might actually be able to get a P5 from this one. It's been entertaining. It's been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of crashes and somehow it looks like we're going to be coming up to P5. And we're actually only six seconds off the lead from the back of the grid with what's happened in this race. I don't understand how, but yeah, we're only six seconds away. So let's see if we can get ourselves up to P5. We know that the Mazda is better on the straights and we've got a much better exit than that BMW. So that is going to be a fairly comfortable pass this time up into P5. And yeah, nothing the BMW can really do. Once you pass that BMW there, we've got better speed in the vision. And that is us up into P5. And now to the last few corners we see nothing else we could do in terms of catching the cars in front we we're too far back but we'll take a p5 in that one but let's go again and see if we can get a cleaner racing is it going to be a chance to get a bit of cleaner racing in so again we're starting from the back we've got mr casual behind us in that beetle let's see how this one goes the genesis again in front of us from the previous races the one that got absolutely swiped into the wall which i yeah don't know really what that was about but it was crazy that you got pushed into the wall and now we're going to see if we can get past the genesis again on this start can we get that run we've managed to do this a couple of times not this time is it going to work though he's got a good run but he's gone to the left there that's going to compromise his entry into this next corner which it does and he just drives into the barrier so that's a position for us up into p14 and now we're going to see if we can get this gtr in front of us can we go for a move into the braking zone we're going to have a little look up the inside here but i decided to back out of this you can see i break early However, he breaks a little bit on the apex there. I wasn't ready for that. And we do actually pick up a bit of damage. And now we're going to luckily not get a penalty, but drop back a little bit with that understeer from the front bumper. So, yeah, we backed out of it, but then he just breaks a little bit more aggressive than what we expected to break in that corner. So we a little bit of contact there. My fault. We should have probably break a little bit more. But now let's see if we can catch them up as we go through here. We can see no one's got any penalties. The front is actually going all right at the moment. Although the Ferrari in front of us there going for a bit of a move. And so far, there's not been much chaos in this race. However, this is developing now, and we've got a car with a penalty on the outside. They're going too wide, almost three wide at one point. Now, there's massive pinball physics there from the Nissan in front of me. I managed to break in time to avoid the contact, but the Supra's rejoin was just not the greatest, we'll say. And yes, chaos kicked off. Cars flying everywhere. And yeah, it didn't take very long for this race to develop into a little bit of chaos. Let's have a little look what happened there. So the Supra's on the outside. And gets hit by the Nissan, which causes that pinball physics. We managed to avoid that. However, this rejoin was a little bit erratic, straight across the line of the car behind him. And that then causes contact and the soup is all over the place and into the wall. So absolute mayhem again on this third attempt of a daily race B. Now we're back down to P15 after all that. We've got cars in front of us. So with penalties there from the contact. So a three second, a four second. Mr. Casuals managed to get himself up to P13 and now up to P12 with that move past the GTR. And now we're just gonna be a bit patient here because we don't really have to overtake these. They've both got penalties. So we're gonna back out of this here, not really risk anything on the outside uh, and then see if we can maybe go for a move into this next corner because if we can get a line, tight line through this left-hand corner, let's see now, hitting the brakes just before the 200 board and then rotate it in. And you can see we've managed to get a much better line than that Genesis so we can get on the throttle a little bit earlier and that's ourselves back up to p14 and now we know that p13 is going to take that penalty so let's see where we can get to from this this race has been absolute chaos so we're we're down to p14 a long way behind and now we've got a yellow flag because there's a car going the wrong way clearly lost control with the bmw on the throttle very easy to do and he's picked up a penalty for the wall hit so 
up into P12 now. We're now back behind Mr. Casual, and he doesn't get the best exit there, and we're going to go past him. We know Mr. Casual's clean, so we don't need to worry about him. He won't take us out. And now we need to see if we can catch this next group of cars up in front of us. So we're going to fast forward on this straight before the bus stop again. And then up into the bus stop, we see there's two cars very close together up there. There's a yellow flag. Not sure what's happened here. There's a car spinning and there's smoke. So there's one position gained. And then I think as we come through here, we can see another car after we come out of this exit. There's another car with a 1.5 second penalty. So what's possibly happened there, I'm not too sure. But it looks like one car's cut the corner gone off onto the grass hit another car and yeah we, we're going to gain possibly another position here as so we're going to go around the outside of p10 can we manage to hold that on the outside tricky corner to do it and you can see the rear starts to go and we've managed to get the run on the outside now can we out drag this car we've got a car on the right hand side now we're gonna have to break as late as we can and we're managing to do that and get ourselves up into p8 so one and a bit laps to go we've managed to get ourselves back up to p8 so it's not the worst case scenario and now we're on to the final lap and we've got P7 in front of us. So can we go for a move past this BMW driver? We're gonna have a little look on the inside here. He's not actually gonna fight this too aggressively, I don't think. And we're gonna go up the inside, break a little bit later, and up into P7. So not a bad recovery drive after the absolute chaos that has gone down in this race. And we're gonna fast forward this now, as we just can't really get close enough to that Nissan, not enough of a lap left to get up to the rear of him. But he does make a little mistake on the final corner where he hits the wall. And that, I did think that was going to be a penalty and maybe we'd get a P Steve back at the end, but no, we managed to get P7. But what chaotic driving was going on on this night of racing? I do not know what was going on. Like I say, it could be something to do with the four laps and people just getting really aggressive and frustrated with trying to make up positions. Maybe that is partly PD's fault for making it such a short race. Maybe they should have made it five or six laps and it would have been a bit more settled. But yeah, entertaining stuff nonetheless. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you for more of these videos in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone.